This video is going to be based off of a comment. Uh, that I went back and forth with with a guy named Tarquinius Superbus, who basically he doesn't really train jiu-jitsu, but he was looking at one of the videos where I was showing a like a wrestling style takedown where I'm dropping down to my knee to pick up a single leg, and he was looking at it and he he commented about you know wouldn't you hurt your knees doing that? Like why would you do that if it's not going to be useful for a self defense situation? Because from his sort of perspective outside looking in, jiu-jitsu is something that prides itself on being useful for self defense. So why would you do something that that's not going to be useful to self-defense. It doesn't make sense to him. And so, you know, I sort of explained it a little bit, but I wanted to do a video for it because I know there's a lot of you guys that watch the channel who haven't started training yet. And some of you guys have no intentions of training. I just found this out recently where a lot of people have sent me messages or commented that they like watching the videos. They don't train jiu-jitsu, they don't want to, but they just like to hear me talk about ideas, which again, I find flattering, but it surprises me that you found my little chunk of the internet, right? Um, but getting into it, why would you train a sport aspect style, a fun sort of playful game style move for an art that prides itself on being you know, very useful for self-defense? So here's the thing. If you're someone that gets into jiu-jitsu, like me, some of the police officers or many of my students who've just had unfortunate situations where you've been in a altercation outside of the gym, then what you learn very quickly is that for a fight situation, the basics of jiu-jitsu jiu -jitsu will take care of you for the most part. I mean, again, I always encourage people to learn striking and stuff, but just the basics of control, being able to clinch and take people down with trips and body locks, being able to have good control of someone on the ground where you can tie them up and they can't do much. All that basic stuff that you learn how to do in, in early on in jiu-jitsu, that'll cover all of that. And then you get to the situation where, you know, Again, boredom it just sets in. Okay, well, we've got jiu-jitsu versus untrained person down. Let's start expanding into this realm of jiu-jitsu versus jiu-jitsu. And that's a different place because that's a much more creative realm because now you're not dealing with necessarily with punches and kicks and everything else. And you're dealing with someone who knows what you're doing. So you got to be very creative in the way that you beat them. And, you know, for a lot of people that come into jiu-jitsu, like me, for instance, I came into jiu-jitsu because I wanted to learn how to fight for mixed martial arts. I, mean, I wrestled in high school, so it seemed like a logical step. And then I also wanted to learn the self-defense stuff. But what kept me coming in jiu-jitsu was not the, the that stuff, it was the fun with my buddies, it was the camaraderie, it was the exhausting feeling of having a good role with one of your training partners, it was the competitions, and it was all these other things from the sport aspect that kept me coming into the, the gym to do it because they're fun. It's an enjoyable thing. There's, there's, for me, there's nothing quite like the atmosphere of a, you know, a wrestling room or a, a mat room, basically, or a you know, jiu-jitsu room where you come in, you train hard with your friends, you have a good time, you're trying to get each other, and you're trying to be beat each other constantly in a really good competitive environment you know, with, with good intentions, it's a fun time. And so again, a lot of us come in for that reason. Now we have the fighting stuff down and we can do it if we need it, but then it becomes just having fun with your training partners. And I would tell you that most people, and you know, for some of you guys that are watching this video that have already been training for a long, long time, feel free to chime in with your own thoughts and ideas. But you know, for most people, I think we come into it because we wanna learn the art, we want to learn how to fight, we want to learn how to do this stuff, and then what keeps us coming is you know, the, the exercise aspect of it, the stress reliever, the, the positive feelings that you get from it, the camaraderie, the community you get put into, and the, the learning aspect, and being constantly being able to try something out and get instant feedback. It's a fun game. And so a lot of that, that's the reason why we do a lot of that stuff that wouldn't necessarily be used for a fight. Now I'll tell you this. It doesn't take as much as you think. A lot of times people try to draw this line in the sand about like, well, if you're training sport, then you're not gonna be able to defend yourself, which I don't find true at all. I mean, you know, even as a young kid, I learned this out literally by in the um, in the face of having someone trying to beat me up. Where I wrestled in high school, and I remember being on the high school wrestling team for a couple of years, and I was starting to become more confident myself and everything else. But I didn't know that wrestling was a fighting art. And I remember one day I was walking up the stairs, and a dude just basically hit me in the chest just because he used to pick on me and he just picked on me one day and it was the wrong day. So he hit me in the chest. I just, you know, went red in the eyes. You know, I just like twitched like water boy style, right? Got real mad and I was tired of being picked on. And instead of like trying to punch him or whatever, it, muscle memory kicked in and I blast double legged him off of his feet and ran him into a wall. Now again, I didn't know that wrestling was a fighting art, but I quickly realized it because after that takedown was done, he looked at me like he was terrified. He didn't know what happened. And I, and I was standing over top of this guy who was a bully and that was it. The double leg blasted into the wall, that was it, no more. 
No mas. <laughs> so again, it doesn't take as much as you think to, to sort of translate these things. The, the stuff that's used for fighting is a lot more simplistic. And then the stuff that we do for the sport is just for fun. Um, but again, there, there's, there's utility to both of them. But the main reason is, is because it's enjoyable and it's something we like doing. So um, that's the, the video today. Hopefully that's useful to you, Tarquinius, or anybody that's either sort of looking at jiu-jitsu from the outside in or curious about it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.